Carnival has its own icon of the seas, and it is not a ship. Stay tuned for an exclusive interview with the man behind the mic, coming up next. Hi, this is Michelle with Cruise Life TV, and I'm here with a cruise industry icon. Uh, just having a bit of a chat, and... Um... Oh, me? Yes. Sorry, I thought someone else was coming. So, with you. I didn't know there was a third guest. <laughs> yes. So we are uh, honored and delighted to have a chance to chat with you. And um, because you work tirelessly for all the passengers and the crew to um, help make sure that our um, cruising experience is wonderful as possible. And we really appreciate that. And your sense of humor as you're answering questions on Facebook every day is just amazing. So, um, so thank you, John, for all your hard work. And, thank you, um, you're very and thank kind. You for taking the time to answer a few questions You're for us and our kind. viewers. Pleasure to be here. Yeah, so one of the things as we were trying to uh, think of uh, some topics was like, I know this is a little bit hard for us to answer, uh, and I'm sure it is probably for you too, but what is your favorite ship? Oh, carnival. Favorite ship, well, I have, I get asked this a lot, and, and it's a natural question to ask. Um, I think, the answer, the easy answer is the one I'm on, because <laughs> when I'm on a ship, I'm happy. When I'm on a ship, I'm home. When I'm on a ship, I'm, I'm surrounded by the thing that I've been surrounded with for 38 years. Mm -hmm. um, but the more specific answer, I have three favorite ships for very personal reasons. Uh, one is no longer in the fleet, the Carnival Imagination. Mm. Um, Carnival Splendor was very, very special to me because it's where um, I had some of my toughest times. We had a big fire on board the ship mm. and then uh, three or four days without power and it was, wow. it was pretty, we had a big fire on the ship. And so I, for a personal reason of bringing um, everybody together, guests and crew during those very difficult days was a personal um, challenge for me and one that we all came through together. So that will always be a favorite ship. And I am a huge, huge lover of the new XL class ships as well. So it's really hard for me to pimple any ship that we have is that when I'm on a ship, I'm happy. Yeah, I feel the same you way. You have a favorite? Well, um, you know what? It is so hard to say because, and, and my answer truly is the one I'm on. Absolutely. <laughs> There's you know? nothing wrong with that answer. It's, it's a great answer. Yeah, we did. We started out with the Magic, then we did the Horizon, then we did the Mardi Gras and Celebration a couple times, and I was like, oh, I'm, am I going to like this smaller ship going back to the Horizon? And after the first day, I was like, oh my gosh, yes, this is just because you do. You feel at home, you f you're happy, you're fun. I feel, my body feels best when I'm on a cruise. Well, <laughs> uh, I don't know about your body, but um, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> we'll leave. <laughs> There's a man behind the camera who's smiling at that. I can tell you that much. Um, yeah, so I agree. It's the ship, the ship you're on, and every ship is different. Every ship has its own quirks and characteristics, but the common denominator is the crew. The crew mm. on all of the ships have been and always will be the the best part of cruising. Well, and that brings me to my next question too, because that's the way we feel too. I think part of why I feel so good is because I'm having fun. I'm laughing, I'm smiling all the time, and that's a lot because of the crew. Absolutely. You know, and especially the cruise directors, we really feel that they just add so much to the cruise experience. And I'm wondering how much you have in, um, in mentoring, you know, you do in mentoring new cruise directors? Uh, we, we have, we have um, a group of people who do that. They're called the, I forgot what the title is, Fleet something. And uh, they definitely are the ones now. Um, if you'd asked me this 10 years ago, I would have said yes to every cruise director because they all worked with me and mm -hmm. I taught them. But with this new group, um, I like to think that they reach out to me if they have a problem. Um, and when I cruise with them, they certainly love to sit with me. And you know, we talk about some of the challenges of the job, which hasn't changed. But we're very blessed to have probably the best group of cruise directors we've ever had. Mm -hmm. I mean, the young lady on here, Georgia, is uh, 
She's fabulous. I was never that young. I never had that amount of energy. I never wore uh, heels like oh she gosh. does. Um, except on a Thursday in November of 1997. <laughs> but that was in Amsterdam. And another, anyway, um, no, we're very, and you know, I believe still that a cruise director can turn a great cruise into an absolutely brilliant one. So mm. thank you for mentioning them. Agreed, agreed. Thank you. That was one of my next questions was like one of the your most memorable. You kind of touched on this about the splendor and mm. I'm sure there's like over the years so oh, many things yeah. that, um, but is there one thing like, mm. like I like to say magic moments in life, like is anything Well, like, you know, I think I, when you look at, when I look back, the ones you tend to remember are the challenges and that's normal because every other cruise is just full of fun, but occasionally something happens in the world. I mean, 9-11, um, mm. I was, you know, on a cruise and uh, on the Carnival Triumph. And, uh, you know, this you have to remember this was before mass emails and social media. So, you know, I had to be the one who got wow. everybody into the lounge and told everybody what was happening. And then we put the big screen down and we got the, the news coverage and trying to keep everybody together, making that decision of, do we cancel all the entertainment? Do we cancel the comedians? Do I stop trying to be funny? You know, that was a huge decision for me to make. And, it, you know, these days, those kind of instructions would probably come from the office. But back then it was, you know, it was a decision I made. And mm -hmm. I did, in the end, decide to carry on. And, you know, it was, we didn't want them to win anymore. Mm -hmm. um, by canceling, you know, everything didn't seem the right thing to do. So keeping the guests informed but at the same time helping those and the and some of the guests who were from new york and who were trying to get their loved ones who it was it was memorable for all the wrong reasons but also at the end of the cruise the tears and the standing ovations for the crew and everything those will be everlasting memories um and uh apart from that it's it's all just great stuff you know i mean yes there have been challenges weather we had a fire on one of the ships and all that stuff and when you're a cruise director you just have to be the voice the calming voice the voice of you know of understanding and that's what i always try to do um my daughter was conceived on a ship uh so there have been some three minutes of happiness um so yeah does that answer your question <laughs> Move on quickly. <laughs> okay. A bit naughty, isn't it? <laughs> so, I know you probably talked about this before, mm. but um, mm. how did you transform from being a bartender, I think was your very first job, right? Bar waiter. Bar waiter, okay, to a cruise director. Well, I was a terrible bar waiter. <laughs> terrible. I mean, I, I bent the truth a little bit during my interview when the lady said, <laughs> Uh, interviewed me in uh, in London. I'd applied for a job on the which I found in the back of a magazine, and some of you will have to Google the word magazine. <laughs> um, and uh, it was for bar staff on a cruise ship. And the lady came to interview me, and she said, "You know, do you know about cocktails and all that kind of stuff?" I said, "Oh yes, of course I do. I was from England, so I knew <laughs> warm beer and tea. That was it. So I was a terrible bar waiter, and um, they quickly saw that I was pretty terrible. So." Uh, they tried me as a wine steward, I was even worse than that. Then assistant bar manager, I was terrible at that. And the whole story, which I won't bore you all with, but eventually they said, well, you're terrible in the bar department. Take a microphone, see if uh, you can make people laugh. And they gave me a mic. I'd never held a mic in my life before. Um, so uh, they gave me a mic and I was uh, what they called a social host, which is the fun squad of these days for a year and a half. And then... They gave me a cruise director and I think I, you know, I don't like to talk about myself, but I'm proud of the fact that I was the first ever cruise director for Carnival and in the entire industry mm. that did not have an entertainment background. And back then you had wow. to be a singer or a magician or have a talent. And I had zero talent. Um, so they gave me a chance as cruise director. And then uh, that was that I got to do. 17 new ships uh, from the start and then they gave me the senior cruise director thing and then I said it was time to go say goodbye and they said well can you do the social media so here I am talking to you wow that's wonderful you just lost all your viewers there <laughs> no. it's so boring no it wasn't so talking about the vlogging then so what year did you start that and and that um, that 
I started with a blog in 2008 and it was a weekly blog um, and it was very popular um, because really uh, it was only Facebook had only just started and Twitter and all the others hadn't really taken off yet. So my blog uh, reached around 20 million uh, hits in the first year. Wow. So then they said, could you do Facebook? And I stupidly said, yes, of course. <laughs> and here you are. You know the thing I'm going to do when I retire? The first thing is delete my <laughs> Facebook page and never do social media again. Oh. It's a blessing and it's a curse. Mm. Um, and now, yeah, but I'm happy to be able to help people on Facebook and um, I answer uh, between three and five thousand questions every every seven days. I can't even. Uh, good ones and not so good ones, but you know it's a great way for the company to have somebody between them and the guests, and for the guests to have somebody between them and the company who can do this, and and, mm -hmm. and that's what I try and do. And I guess Facebook is my microphone now, right? It's mm. it's yeah me being me on face on, on social media rather than. Mm -hmm. into a microphone and how often each year do you get to be doing something like this well I do one of these cruises every year but I also try and cruise at least seven or eight times a year just randomly on different ships just so that I can be part of everything because mm -hmm. you can't be the brand ambassador if you're never on the brand so that's mm -hmm. what I try and do yeah great great you did good thank you I've got one more question for you just one that's an easy one I is think. it easy I hope so Go on, then. okay Chocolate, vanilla, or strawberry? Mm. <laughs> Maybe not so easy? It's not easy because I'm diabetic. So um, sugar-free out of all of those, the chocolate, definitely. Okay. And by the way, to anybody that has uh, sugar, uh, is diabetic, we have a new sugar-free chocolate melting cake and it's fabulous. Ooh. Fabulous. What's your favorite? My favorite is chocolate. Is it? It's chocolate. chocolate, chocolate. <laughs> yeah. I'm just checking with the man behind yeah. the camera. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you know, we've come a long way. Uh, it's a nice segue to know that we, you know we have a, a whole new vegan menu, a gluten-free menu, more sugar-free items. So we're really trying to help those that have some kind of, uh, of um, allergy or uh, uh, lifestyle. Um, so I think we're doing really well with that. So, so you've been watching. Can I do the finish? Yes, absolutely. You've been watching Cruise Life TV with Greg and Michelle. <laughs> Find us on. YouTube, please click and subscribe so you can get the latest information. So press the subscribe button and the click button. Well, so far, I don't know how to do <laughs> the this. Like and the subscribe. like, like, <laughs> like and subscribe right, so yes. that you get instant <laughs> thingy when and the notification, the notification bell. bell so you get a bing when they've posted something. So please, right. seriously, it's a wonderful way for you to see what goes on in the life of cruise ships and those that travel on them and work on board. On behalf of Michelle and Greg, Thank you for watching. Three minutes. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Was so that good? Oh, it was fantastic.